All right, campers, today's lesson is all about creating spinning Lego tops. So your job today is going to be to build a launcher that's going to spin these for us, and then to design a few of your own spinners to see which one can spin for the longest. All right, let's get started. Just as a general note, my colors that you see in front may be different than the colors that you have at home. The axles that we're gonna be using today, this is a length of 10. So again, if you hold them up to the holes and you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, you'll see that this is a length 10. We have one length seven, two length sixes, and one length five today. So you wanna make sure that you have the right colored axles um, are the right length axles. They may not be that same color that I have right there. All right, so uh, getting started. First, we're gonna start with our one by seven lift arm. And we're going to place into it two of these length three pins. You'll notice that there is um, like a little groove that's hanging out. That's gonna go down. So we're gonna go uh, the groove side down and we're gonna go ahead and place one at the very start, and then we're gonna place another one right there. Then we're gonna take one of our one by 15s, and we're gonna go with the black pins. We're gonna go on the second, we're gonna go on the fifth, so there's a gap of two, and then a gap of three. So one, two, three, and then our pin. And I think that's the ninth one in. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place this in and we're gonna go right in. So you might wanna pick it up and do this one first and then get this one in. And sometimes you gotta wiggle them around just however you need to do to, to force them in like that. All right, then we're going to take our L and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place our L. So see how the long end is here. So we have a little bit of gap and then it turns kind of like that. All right, now we're gonna grab our length five, so the shortest of the axles, and that's gonna go in right here. So from the L, we have one, two, three, and then in the fourth slot here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda turn it, and we're gonna add in this gear that has eight teeth, the smallest gear, and we're gonna put that on the bottom, just like that. And then we're gonna take one of these, the 40 tooth gears, and we're gonna place that on top, and you're gonna have some extra axles sticking out. Next, we're gonna take one of the length sixes, and we're gonna go right in this slot here. And then on the bottom, we're gonna put one of these 40 tooth gears. Sorry, I've got this kind of all turned around. I'll, I'll kind of turn around and show you guys. Okay, so we got just like this. So there's my L and we've got these. Make sure that when we're turning these that we've got just a little bit of wiggle room. We don't want too much friction. So just a little bit of wiggle is okay. We don't, we don't want it to be too tight. Otherwise, when we spin it, there's gonna be too much friction. Okay, then we're gonna add two of these bushes. We're just gonna push these down and in. And then we're going to add this black. This I think is a 36 tooth gear, or 32 tooth gear right on top. This is really, so here's what we're doing. We're gonna be able to hold this like this in our hand and we're gonna be able to turn. So start practicing and if it's too tight, like let me push everything really tight, it gets hard. It doesn't keep spinning after I let go. So we wanna make sure that there's a little flexibility in there so that even after you let go like that, it continues to spin. All right, and then we're gonna do one more of the length six axle. And that's, if I'm counting, we're going one, two away. Okay. And then underneath on the bottom, we're putting another one of those 40 tooth gears. And you'll notice that there's a gap. These should not be touching. Okay. So if you accidentally put it here, that's not good. There should be a little bit of gap between these. And then on top, we're gonna take our 24 tooth gear and we're gonna add that. And that's gonna line up with the 40 tooth gear. So watch, as I turn it, there we go. Now it's spinning 
just like that. Okay, make sure that everything's not super tight. We don't have too much friction. If you need to loosen it up a little bit, it should be able to spin freely after you let go. Maybe get, get a little more tension. All right, so this is our launcher. Now what we're gonna do is make our spinners. So we're gonna make two spinners. So I'm gonna set the launcher aside. And the first spinner is just gonna be on this length 10. We're gonna just kind of put a 40 tooth gear and then a 24 tooth gear, just kind of like this. And you can kind of adjust it however you want. Try spinning it, see if it stays up. It's gonna be a little unstable. Uh, this is on purpose. We want you to see that if the axle length is too long, that we get some of that wobble in there. And then the other one is gonna look pretty similar, except we're gonna use the length seven axle, but same thing, that 24 tooth gear on the bottom, length seven, try it out. Okay, now here's how we use our launcher. Okay, you're gonna take your gear and you're gonna put it so it's here. Then I can spin it, and then if I lift up on the launcher, it's spinning in place. Let me show you again. So we're gonna slide it in to the end of our launcher so that when I spin it, it's spinning my spinner. I'm gonna spin it and lift up, and it's gonna spin around, just like that. 